sits Orzammar, largest and proudest of the two remaining dwarven cities. Once the seat of an underground empire, Orzammar now stands alone, cut off from the world by the Darkspawn, still clinging to the memory of its former glory. Below the vast statues and gilded halls where the noble families play at politics, the lower castes live in their shadows, scurrying to serve like their ancestors before them. Below that is you. You are castless, the dirty secret staining Orzammar's perfect society, forced, along with your sister, to sell your services to the crime lord Barat. To the rest of Orzammar, you are proof that the castless deserve their fate. But you know you do what you have to, the same as everyone, just to survive. I can't keep gambling on you forever, precious. You've got a sweet look. Something to light a man on fire. But you gotta make it count. Please, Barat. Can we not do this in front of my brother? Why not? He knows the slope of the land, don't you, boy? You told me a lot of things, not one of which meant more than a fart in the middens. Before me, your sister was just another duster. Now check her out. Braids down to here, gold cap teeth. She can recite elf poetry and play the string harp. Every man's dream. All she's got to do is find a lord, squeeze out some kid who looks like him, and we're all living the easy life in the diamond quarter. Please, don't get involved. You know that never goes well. I'll treat her however I like, as long as you both eat off my plate. You keep your head down and say I to any job I decide is low enough for scum like you. In return, I put out coins so you can doll yourself up and get a belly full of some nobleman's brat. Then you both go free, and I get to join the family and be called my lord for the rest of the little prince's life. Checking on my investments, and right now, they don't bear much gold. I'm giving you another week, Precious. If you haven't found a patron, you're back to sweeping streets. But... I have. I've met someone. That is, I didn't want to promise, but he seemed interested. Everyone needs me. Because everyone has things they want in my Carter. We're the ones who provide. Until you can do that, you're nothing but my errand boy. So shut up and do as you're told. Good guess. Your buddy Lesky's waiting outside. He knows what I'll need from you today. Don't even think about bungling this job. Your whole family's on loose sand with me right now. And I know you don't have anywhere else to turn. I'm sorry you had to see that. Just be careful about showing him. You've been lucky so far. He thinks it's funny when you and Lesky get vulgar. Some of the nobles I've met, they'd as soon have your head for speaking your mind. That's why I didn't tell you. Barat's been warning me ever since two of his other girls found patrons at Lord Harrowmont's reception. They've been getting gifts already. Lord Rooston gave Elsie a surface silk gown and she's not even pregnant. Barat's getting impatient. I wish I could. Just go and walk the deep roads until we find a magical crystal kingdom and live happily until the stones embrace. But it's not happening. You know the other options. Cleaning middens, begging, going to the surface. No. Unless you find a way to save us all from Darkspawn and become a paragon. We're pretty much on Barat's leash for life. Stay out of trouble. I'll see you tonight.
about sodding time. I was starting to think I'd have to bust in and get an eyeful of that spicy sister of yours. Growl. Boss says we're out for a search and discipline. One of his smugglers is holding out on him. Name's Oskias, some surfacer. Barat got word that he's been selling shipments topside that never make it to Barat's ears down here. He wants us to find the rotter and see what goods he's holding back. Well, if he is skimming, we kill him, of course. I mean, Barat doesn't let anyone swindle him and live. He wants us to find the rotter and see what goods he's holding. You know, gold, lyrium, spices. Anything that Barat might cut someone's head off to get. All he told me is find him. Duster's got some family from the merchant cast. He's probably staying near their quarters. Poetry to my ears, Selraka. The ancestors were smiling on my beds today. Hey, I was saving that seat. That's real thoughtful, Oskias. It's tiring work looking for you. How do you know my name? Oh no, you're not from Barat, are you? Because that would be too much. I don't think I could handle You mean you're not here to kill me? Look, I, I always been loyal to Barat. He's been good to my family. I, I know how much I owe him. I haven't. I, I wouldn't. I'm getting out of here. You, you two are mad. Barat knows I'd never betray him. I'll tell him myself. You're not going anywhere. Could everyone who isn't about to die please turn around for a moment? This may be unpleasant. Thank you. You can't do this. Help! Call the guardsmen! This is murder! You two let me know if you need anything. I'll be in the back. It's just a bunch of rocks. You're gonna kill me for that? Then let me go. Tell Barat you killed me. I can run to the surface. He's never got to hear of me again. I'll give you the lyrium. Do whatever you want with it. Give it to Barat. Sell it yourself. I don't care. Keep the lyrium. It's worth plenty to the right buyer. Are you breathing smoke? Barat will kill you if he catches you with his lyrium. That's a whole other story. We need to sell it before we go back to Barat, and to someone who won't run to him. Tell you what, cut me in 50 and we'll go to Olinda. She's a merchant. She likes me and refuses to work with the old man. Then what happens to me? Yes, yes. I'll go back up to the surface right now. I'll move to Orle, to Antiva. Thank you. You're as noble as you are strong. May the ancestors bless your steps. Was that smart? If Verat finds out Oskias ran, he'll kill you. He'll kill me, he'll make you, kill me, then yourself. Then he'll probably stew us and serve us to the poor. We should sell this quick and report back before Barat starts wondering what's taking so long. Un Unless you think we should give it all to Barat. He'd probably buy that. If he knew what Ascaius was hoarding, he wouldn't have sent us to look, right? Unless he was testing us. Then we better go find Olinda. She used to give me cross over weeks end loaf when I was little. She's got a soft spot for me. I 
and she hates Barat. Whew. You should hear her go on about how it's blackmail to pay protection money and a castless deserve better. She's got a stall in the comets not too far from Tapsters. She'll give us a fair deal and Barat won't hear about it. Lesky, you old scamp. What are you doing here? Trying to charm me out of another set of ribbons for your girl? Trying to talk you into being my girl, Olinda. You know my heart's breaking for you. Don't you go saying that around my husband. Who's your friend? You're welcome to look around. I'll slide on the markup since you're Lesky's friend, but I can't give anything away for free. Well, that's not what I was expecting to hear cross those lips. Where exactly would someone like you pick up Lyrium? I think that's probably something I should never know. Didn't I tell you she's a gem? How much do you have? I can give you 30 silvers per nugget. Only 30? It's less than it's worth, I won't lie to you. But the market for it's topside, and that won't be easy for me to reach. And I'll have to find a buyer who won't ask where it came from. For that, I can't afford more than 30. Not unless you want Barat hearing. I'll tell you plain, you won't find another merchant in this quarter who won't feed him whatever he asks. And I'd mourn a day or two to lose my buddy Lesky, I'll tell you that. Now, do you want the deal or not? All right then, let me take that off your hands. And you probably shouldn't come around here for a while, just in case. Thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Leave a like if you liked, dislike if you didn't. If you have something to say, don't keep it to yourself, just post a comment. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Goodbye.